a bodybuilding thug launched a vicious attack on his girlfriend for liking a friend's Facebook posts gouging her eyes and then keeping her prisoner for three days so nobody would see her black eyes. Danny Bridges was last week found guilty of false imprisonment and two counts of actual bodily harm against his partner after an attack in October last year. The 35-year-old bricklayer of Whitstable, Kent, throttled and punched his partner before jamming his fingers in her eyes, causing her to fear her eyes were going to pop out. To stop friends and family seeing his girlfriend's black eyes and bruises, Bridges then kept his girlfriend prisoner in his flat between October 31 and November 2 last year. Following the attack, the victim texted a friend about the attack asking for help leading to her pal calling 999, with police storming Bridges' flat on November 2 and arresting him. Officers found the victim, who has serious facial bruising, locked in a bedroom. Her police statement said that Bridges got angry after she liked a number of Facebook postings by pals, with her statement reading, he was shouting at me and telling me off for liking other people's Facebook posts. With every punch I remember seeing white flashes in my eyes he managed to stick his fingers in my eyes by this point. He somehow managed to peel the eyelids back and it turned inside out. It hurt so much I thought I was going to be sick, I thought my eye was going to pop out, the Kent Messenger newspaper reported after the four-day trial last week. But the victim refused to stand by her initial police statement, telling Canterbury Crown Court she got her injuries by falling down a flight of stairs, tripping over a table and hitting her head against a toilet. She also said she suffered bruises to her neck, arms and legs after having sex with Bridges. Judge Rupert Lowe asked the victim, so after you fell down the stairs and injured your back, you went to bed, got up, tripped over a table, then tripped over a rug and hit your face against the toilet seat causing a pretty nasty injury. Then you were sick, got back into bed, and then had sexual intercourse. The victim told the court that was her account and that police had pressured her to give evidence against Bridges. The judge refused to believe the victim's altered account of what happened, telling the court, I have formed the preliminary view this is a very dangerous man. Any woman who gets into a relationship with this man in the future is at serious risk of danger. A jury found Bridges, who has a string of previous convictions for attacking women, guilty of false imprisonment and two counts of actual bodily harm after just one hour of deliberation, and he faces jail when he is sentenced on June 21.